Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review as well as a demo on something that's been out for a couple of months but I've only just decided to review it now strangely enough. So these are the NYX Fat Oil Slick Clicks. So these have been released after the popularity of the normal um, fat oil glosses. I never bought any of them. You guys know if you followed me for some time I'm not big on lip glosses. They tend to bleed on me. I've got a bleedy skin if that's even a thing. So if I'm generally going for something which is glossy it's got to be something like the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Inks where I know that it won't bleed. So these range in price from about £10 to £7 depending on where you buy them. So today I've got four to share with you guys. I did buy these a few months ago when they were first released. So in the UK you can buy 12 shades of these. I'm not sure if you can buy more in the US most likely that's generally what happens to us we always get bumped so I've got the shade here called going viral which is described as a rose shade link in my bio which is described as a warm nude shade double tap which is described as a raspberry shade and then hashtag thriving which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now which is described as flamingo pink and I would say that all of these shades do live up to their name descriptions they are exactly as they've been described so let me just quickly read to you what they say about these before I show you the demo of me applying all four of these to my bare lips so it says lips on slick in just a click our pigmented balm in click up packaging that dispenses just the right amount of formula all you got to do is click it to slick it. A fat boost of fat care for your lips with this vegan formula powered with avocado, cloudberry and raspberry oils. This lightweight, buildable, balmy formula provides 12 hour hydration for all day, ultra comfortable wear and care. Slick, so addicting, you want to keep clicking. Now in 12 shades to click from light as air pigments for a flush of colour with a non-sticky high shine finish perfect for everyday wear. So that's how they have described it on their website. This is what they believe and that is how they are marketing it to me and you. I'm going to stop now and let you guys see all the lip swatches. Bear in mind that I have got darkish lips. My top lip is dark purple. My bottom lip is more pinky purple and how it shows up will always be dependent on your natural lip color, not your skin color. Okay, now that you've seen the lip swatches, what do you guys think? All the colours are beautiful, don't get me wrong, I like all four of them, I think they all look very very flattering against my skin tone, however, I really don't like these, I'm so disappointed, like I knew that having something which has got a lip balm kind of texture was always going to be a bit funny with me, I didn't realise how badly I would dislike these, I can actually only wear these with uh, matte liquid lipsticks as like a little bit of a topper, but on their own it's a no-no for me. First off, let's start off with applying however much you want so that it builds up the colour because these are not fully pigmented. They're basically strongly pigmented lip balms. I don't know if you guys can see because I can see in the mirror. Can you see it's collected? Ew! Look, it's collected all on the inside of my lips. That's disgusting. I'm going to have to wipe it off because it looks like I've got issues with my skin that's what happens to me during Ramadan when I've not had anything to drink for like 19 hours or something and all that white stuff kind of collects around the sides of your mouth it's disgusting that's a negative already for me and that's what happens when you use too much of this product now bear in mind you can build up the color but that is what is more likely to happen now it says that it is a pigmented balm in a click up packaging so let's start off with that firstly so you click 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 it very slowly comes out which is handy but unfortunately once you've clicked out you can't click back in you can only bring out as much as you think you will use meaning you'll have to keep clicking because the problem with this is that if you were to think about a normal lipstick now i just happen to have um a two-faced ladybird one here 
Nobody uses the lipstick like that. They tend to use it like this so that you've got proper control and also so that the rim of the actual lipstick tube does not actually rub over your lips and interfere with how cleanly it applies. That does not happen with this. Now, unfortunately, it starts to melt as you're applying it to your lips. And in the summer, it melts a lot more, meaning that not only am I not getting a clean amount of pigment on my lips, it's patchy in places. The only way that I can smooth it out and make it more even is by doing this which is obviously not what I want. I want a clean amount of pigment on my lips. And then what happens is as it's melting, as I'm going around my lips, the actual tube line is leaving a line around my lips. So I'm having to go back over it again and I'm having to remove more. Another thing is that because it is a lip balm, it actually has the tendency to come out in chunks sometimes, which I have found really wasteful and annoying. So imagine I've just gone one swipe and a big chunk of this has come off onto my lip. So I'm having to smooth it out with my finger or just take a tissue to dab it off because I've now got too much on my mouth. So I think the packaging is really not that good and the fact that you can't wind it back in is also really wasteful. Weight, weight yes I would say it is buildable balmy formula. Yes it is buildable but I've already explained the issues with it being buildable. You end up collecting all of the product around the inside of your mouth as you have literally just seen for yourselves. 12 hour hydration um, it don't even last two hours two to three hours max and that's only if you haven't eaten anything or drunk anything at all. So the likelihood of getting 12 hour hydration from that one time you put it on is never gonna happen all day comfortable wear it don't last all day it comes off so easily like, literally all I have to do is take a tissue and blot it on my mouth and it will come off let's see what else they say 12 shades okay uh, light as air pigments for a flush of color yes it is a flush of color like I've said it is a basically a very strongly pigmented lip balm it is not a lipstick with a non sticky Yep, it's not sticky at all. High shine finish. Yes, it is high shine. Perfect for everyday wear. Well, if you want to wear it for two hours and have to reapply it every five minutes. So, what do you guys think? Look, I will be honest with you, as I always am. I don't think that these are great. I'm sure many people do like these, but I prefer my lipsticks to have a little bit more longevity, to be cleaner in terms of application, not wasteful, and to have a little bit more stick to them in terms of how long that they are going to remain on my lips. Now, I do like the colours. I have shown lip swatch videos of me using these in the past as well. And what I personally prefer to do is I apply these on top of a liquid lipstick, like I've already said to you guys. So you imagine if I'm wearing a matte liquid lipstick, I will take one of these and I will slowly dab it on. When I dab it on, that actually stops it bleeding. It stops it moving around as well. And because it's got the colour underneath of the liquid lipstick, it ensures that the colour itself remains a lot longer than it normally would. I still have to top this up but definitely not as much as I would have to do if I was to wear it on its own it gets on everything it gets in my hair I'm wearing shorts right now how did I get it on my legs I don't understand how it ended up on my legs it attaches itself to everything to a cup to a mug to a fork to a spoon it comes off onto everything and because it is colored it is so much more obvious as well I personally give these a five out of ten I think that People that are a fan of the original fat oils will probably like these. I never liked those, which is why I never purchased them to begin with. Another thing that I find that makes them last a little bit longer on the lips is if you were to apply lip liner with it, and I mean lip liner all over the lips, and then again tap this on rather than thickly apply it like I've been showing you guys. Because again, the color underneath will ensure that it remains a little bit longer. However, if you were to use a lip liner on its own and then apply this, this will come off and you'll have a nice line around the outside, which just looks ridiculous, really. I've been using them a lot with the Line Loud Lip Pencils from NYX Cosmetics. These are excellent. I've got about 10 of them. I've not even used this brand new one. I've just picked up. But I found that also, again, the same thing happens. The lip liner remains, but this completely comes off, negating the reason that I'm wearing lip liner to begin with. So there are ways that you can work around it if you still insist on having glossy lips however personally these aren't something that I will repurchase something I wouldn't really recommend to you guys especially if you want something that is worth the money and a little bit more long lasting than two hours okay yep yeah, they hydrate the lips it feels nice on the lips etc but I think that there are so many more cons than there are pros for me personally so that's it for my review of the NYX fat oil slick clicks let me know what your thoughts are. I'm sure many of you have tried these do you like them 
them? Do you love them? Are you in between? Are you still thinking about it? Let me know in the info bar below. Other than that, I hope you guys are fabulous, gorgeous, wishing you beautiful, glossy, gorgeous lips. And I'll see you all in the next video.